welcome 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 to the channel come in all you gardeners who are my subscribers welcome subscribers non-subscribers cross watchers and the like this is a reading on the guzman This is a reading for Mia Guzman and how she feels here in the news that Chris Brown and Diamond Brown were having a baby. Supposedly having a baby. Because like I said, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows what the truth is, only those involved. So, <clears throat> being that I am a spiritual advisor and I'm pulling information from the ethers, whatever spirits say everybody knows when i throw these cards whatever cards come out that spirit's message for the here and now right so i'm going to be doing a reading again like i said nia guzman and how she feels about hearing the news that came out that diamond brown chris brown is having a baby girl that the baby girl is here right now someone is pissed hold on a second Someone is pissed. Someone is not saying anything. Give me a second here. Holy Spirit, tap me into the energy of Nia Guzman. Current energy surrounding Nia Guzman and her heart space. How she feels. What she's not showing to the public and to her family. How she really feels about Chris Brown. And listening to the information that came out. That... Diamond and Chris Brown have a baby girl. How does she feel currently? How does she feel currently? <laughs> I'm telling y'all now, these cards are not trying to shuffle. It's like she's having a hard time dealing with this information. But again, there is, could be a wait period. Who knows to find out if this is actual fact. We, no one knows, really. Because Diamond Brown requested that the father not be revealed. 2 18 o'clock we're gonna look at nia though only energy surrounding nia guzman chris brown's ex-baby mama current energy surrounding nia guzman chris brown baby mama she a leo i know how leos are because my mom is a leo hmm. they act like they don't care they don't care we're going to pull her energy. I want to see. This is for one of my um, subscribers who requested this reading, Devetta Dixon. If any of y'all would like a would like you would like me to read any of your favorite celebrities, love, work, or life, put their names down. Put their name down in the comment section. Thank you. That's my daughter being ignorant right now. She on her game. Okay, so let's see this. I probably got sung on the whole thing. How do you feel about hearing the news that Chris Brown has a baby? It's on the world. Okay, Holy Spirit. Mia Guzman's heart space here in the news that Chris Brown and Diamond Brown were having a daughter. We got forgiven and learning. What is this forgiven and learning? Mia Guzman. Calling on your soulmate. This is an odd ass reading, but her, her energy is all over the place. Mm. We got downcast pride right next to calling in your soulmate. Give me, give me another card. What is this? <laughs> okay. What the fuck is this shit? Y'all, if y'all see what I'm seeing, you be like, what the fuck? How does Nia Guzman feel? What's in Nia Guzman's heart space? Here in the news that Chris and Diamond Brown have a daughter. Together. Stop playing with me. 
So with this forgiving and learning card, it says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So whatever it is that her and Chris had going on in the past, and there were many battles between these two, you know what I'm saying? It looks like she's learning to forgive and learn to move on, or she needs to. As you release and heal the past, she's healing from this situation. So I don't really think that this situation, hearing this news between Chris and Diamond Brown having a daughter actually bothers her. Because, uh, again, like I said, we got forgiving and learning, right? As you release, release, and then you heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, she pretty much is forgiving and learning here. So it's like she's forgave him for past events that happened between her and him and whatever went on with, I'm hearing strongly with cheating or whatever, or him with many women. Jesus Christ. Lord. But definitely we have forgiving and learning here. It seems like to me the energy I'm getting from her, from Nia Guzman, is that she moved on, right? She already made affirmation visualization to call in her soulmate, Right? She pushed her pride aside with downcast pride to call in her soulmate. But before she could do that, she had to learn to forgive this uh, person here. So I don't think the news is affecting her quite yet. She's not even really attracted to him. Attraction reversed. At all. Wow. Okay. How does she feel? Nia Guzman's heart space here in the news, Chris Brown. Yeah. She still likes to control things that go on around her. We got let go of control issues in the reverse. Let go of control issues is reversed. I'm going to show you again. And you just heard the bell, so that's confirmation. She's a very controlling individual. Okay? She's very controlling. She don't want to let go. <laughs> <laughs> Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, even though she may, she, Spear says that she really doesn't care about the situation. She already called in whoever her soulmate is, right? And she pretty much moved on past the situation. She's still trying to, in the background, control what is going on as far as the news getting out about Chris and Diamond Brown having a daughter. She's still in the background controlling. So, it says a lot of the situation, you know, regarding this news she heard, to unfold naturally. She digging. Like, li literally, di instead of waiting for information or waiting for whatever to occur with hearing the news concerning Chris and Diamond Brown, it's like she, she, she's being very active. That's all I'm going to say. And very controlling in the matter of hearing this news. Um, intuitively I feel she's being active with regards to this situation is because it has a lot to do with finances right because we already got two kids now the, and there's the child support then should it be proven that this kid is really is then guess what and there's three kids and there's three child support cases so in the state of California I believe I think the baby gets more than the oldest. I don't know if the rules changed, but I mean, I had child support in the state of California as well as in New Jersey. So <laughs> out of state, because in New Jersey, then you go out of state, right? We do intrastate child support. Either way, with the birth of this child, the birth of the new baby is going to get more money than the oldest child with child support. That's even if he is the father to Diamond Brown baby, and Diamond Brown does put him on, you know, put Chris Brown on child support. If she does, then this is what will pan out. The baby would get more of the money than the oldest child, so royalty wouldn't be getting as much money for child support as you know Nia thinks. So again, let go control issues. She's even controlling situations in her love life. I don't see her wanting to talk or have a conversation with him regarding this. 
Um, she's still strongly magnetically attracted to whoever her soulmate is. She's controlling that situation. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anywho, I'm pulling cool these oracles. Let me see what's going on. Mia Guzman. What's going on, Mia Guzman? Current energy surrounding Mia Guzman. Yeah, she's not really interested or attracted to Chris Brown is what these cards are telling me. To me, intuitively, the only attraction would be the money. That's about it. Let y'all know right now. And since the money got to be split between... See, first, it was one kid, right? And so child support will pay only for that one child. And you can get X amount of dollars for child support, depending if you keep going into the courthouse. Now, there's more than one kid. So that one kid that was getting all that money is getting less of what they get. I mean, if it's a money thing. If it has a lot to do with money. If it has to do with money. Right? Mia Guzman. What's going on with Nene? Mia Guzman. I think she's a good chick. So we have the card of happiness here. And then we got deception. We got third party reverse. So it seems to me... Even though someone left the third party behind, somebody's pretending to be happy. There's deception here. Someone faking it until they make it. Ooh, child. Look now. So in this situation, someone's pretending to be happy for someone when they're not. They're pretending to be happy for a third party. So it would be like me is pretending to be happy that the news of Diamond Brown being pregnant, right, with the baby. She's pretending to be happy. This deception is she ain't happy. Something to do with a birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does she? What's going on with Mia Guzman? Present energy to Mia Guzman and her feelings towards the news. Wow, looking to drain this motherfucker. Ooh, sorry, y'all. We got rich man reverse. I'm gonna put that as <laughs> so somebody is losing money because they failed to do the research on the person that they was with who's not their soulmate. Wow. Somebody didn't look into somebody's background. Somebody didn't look into somebody's background to find out all about this individual. It has a lot to do with music. Music reverse. There's a lot of disharmony. Someone's moving on. I see Germany at the bottom of the deck. Germany. Yeah, it's like this person just jumped into being. It's like this man, this rich man here, jumped into being around this person. Possibly pretended or acted like they were a soulmate to this person. Soulmate is like this. Soulmate, right? But it's in the reverse. Someone didn't do their research on this individual. This person is draining this person's money. Music. We got music here. Yeah, this is harmony here. Could have met this person at a club, at a music party. I don't know. I keep intuitively here. Music party. Music party party whatever that is music party whatever that may be to y'all figure it out but yeah this person's losing their money you should do the research on this individual this person that rich man will be the king of pentacles in the reverse this person is very selfish right or it could be the other person didn't do their research on this very selfish individual it's king of pentacles reverse because this person is very selfish. They spend their money lavishly, but they won't give you any, right? They hold on to their money from you, but they won't give you none. You know what I'm saying? It's becoming crystal clear to somebody regarding this situation. And this person is very sad. Hearing that information, this person is hiding the fact that they're happy. They're really sad. Someone is dealing with a health issue here. 
could be their heart, could be their lungs. They could have a heart murmur. They could have asthma problem, asthma bronchitis. Something to do with the chest. Something to do with the chest or the heart. It's a health concern. And they sad because they're hearing the news from the doctor about their health. Could be her, could be somebody around her, right? Someone that she's dealing with has a health issue. Mia Guzman, present situation. Ooh, me. I, you know what? Ooh. Bottom of the deck, we got daughter, right? What the fuck is going on here? We got black magic. Why are you going to read Mia Guzman? We got bereavement. Bereavement is the death of a friend, relative, death of a person. See the skeleton bone? Sorry for the reflection. It could be the death of a situation. It could also be the death of this black magic or someone did black magic to cause someone death. Someone is fucking around in the fire element. This could be her because she's a fire sign. Um, they're doing affirmations in the burning bowl. or I'm seeing strong ass candles, y'all. Candles. Candles to bring it into a certain... I just heard something and I don't want to say it. Ooh, no. A century reverse. She fucking better not be. Okay, I'm not I'm gonna leave it alone. Let me pull some tarot on this shit real quick. Cause I'm real curious as to this black magic. Four, 1642 o'clock. I hate to say it, but it looked like her or whoever's around her is trying to cause the death of this child. I'm going to show you. You look at it for yourself. The cards. Black magic. Bereavement. Death. Black magic. Death. Daughter. Ascension. Reversed. Go back. Someone is doing black magic on someone's daughter to spiritually kill them so that they can die in the 3D. Let's look into this. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. Someone just got busted. You're gonna see. Who's doing this black magic? <clears throat> Mia Guz current energy surrounding Mia Guzman. Regarding this black magic, bereavement daughter in ascending reversed. Uh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I'm putting it on someone was asking. Who asked for this reading? Devetta Dixon? You got your reading, girl. It's some communication for spirit. Give me a second. Someone's trying to kill off this, this little girl. I see why Diamond Brown don't want to show any pictures and don't want to show who the father is. I just heard intuitively she goes to Botanicus. This is a high priestess here working in the dark. Well, but it's, this, this also is the card of a mistress. Let me see if she's... I'm going to look into that, too. Give me a second. Who's doing this black magic? This is someone who's not using their intuition. They can have the initials first, middle, last year, Jane. This person's completely jealous, and they're working magic to fucking kill off this little girl. I kid you not. You do not harm children. I do not believe it. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Children are a blessing from God. If you're taking God's blessing, his creation, quiet. If you're taking his creation, sirens are going off in the background. Confirmation. Someone is very jealous. And they're, they're messing with the elements, the ethers as well. Calling on their spirit guides, ancestors to try to take this little girl out. I kid you not. I'm going to hold the cards again. Someone's doing black magic to someone's baby to kill them. Take it for what it is, yo. They want them to go back. This person don't want this man look. And then we got High Priestess Reverse clarifying this black magic. Knight of Cups Reverse. And then we got Wizard. Yep, Magician. At the bottom of the deck, someone feels like this situation ain't healed. And this is why they're throwing death spells at a baby. 
Yo, what is this world coming to? I don't believe in this. Not one fucking bit. Give me a second. I'm hearing something, y'all. Whoever is throwing the black magic. And if this is Nia Guzman trying to throw black magic at this baby girl. I just heard God speaking. It ain't gonna work. Someone is hella jealous and they manifesting. This is what they want. They want this. Yo, I swear to God. Hold on a second. A second. Thank you, God. And it's all over money and stability, Ten of Pentacles. Their man, their, this person is very hateful. Stop that. This very this this person is fighting this in the spiritual realm. This is the type of person that won't come up to you to your face. They'll smile on your face and backstab you. Like I said, this type type of person smile, but they hateful. Right? They doing black magic to my daughter because they jealous. They want to be the one to manifest the stability and have all the fucking money. Leo energy. Leo energy. They have strength, courage, and conviction to pull this shit off with this money within the family. It's as if someone's trying to manifest keeping the status quo within their household and they hella jealous that this baby is here so they're trying to kill this baby with the use of black magic and it's not going to be successful there you go there you go there you go well i tell you what god said it won't work it won't work I just heard High Priestess of the Dark. Yeah, so this person wants everything their way. Let me see what this is. It cuts reverse. Mia Guzman's current energy. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't want someone to have a new beginning. They want this person to be left out in the cold. Come back around. Two of uh, wands reversed, eight of cups reversed. Come back around, right? Someone's trying to make it where someone don't have a new beginning. They want this person left out in the cold. Five of pentacles. Five days, five weeks, five months from now. Put it where it fits. This person doesn't want this person with anything. They want this person left out in the cold. Yeah, guys, energy, current energy, right now, today, surrounding Nia Guzman, how she feels about this little girl, Diamond Brown's daughter, Diamond Brown and Chris Brown's daughter, assumed daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. She feels like she's going to be left out in the cold as far as finances are concerned. And that she won't have a new beginning. Yeah, so she's coming back around. Do what? Hold on. What does Nia Guzman come back around to do? Eight cuts reverse. What to do what? She's not taking action yet. She's watching and waiting for her ships to come in. She's watching online at a distance, possibly. She's watching at a distance. Look, yo, she is watching. Coming around to watch. Because she feels like this. Left out in the cold, left behind. Financial-wise. Oh, my God, for real. 
Give me the Kipper deck. Give me the Kipper deck. Um, let me get a couple cards. Mia Guzman. How she feel about hearing the news concerning Chris and Diamond Brown's daughter, Lovely Symphony. I love that name. That's very beautiful. I love children. Um, I have a lot of kids. <laughs> But babies, no, we, we're, we're not doing that. There's a mature man that's in bad health. Bad health can mean anything from an STD to a heart attack. Couldn't wear fits, right? So somebody has bad health. This could be her dad. Whoever the mature man is, her dad, her grandpa, her abuelo. Okay, abuelo means grandpa. Okay, so... God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let's see. Oh, God, let's see. Woo, yeah, she is watching. Mature woman, because she's older than him. Look how she looks, serious as fuck. She like, and really, mm-hmm. Look, face of a Leo. She's all in her emotions, and she's using her intuition. You see the blue dress with the, with the indigo? She's in her emotions, but yet she's highly intuitive. She's using her intuition. I'll tell y'all right now. Mia Guzman's... Yeah. She's someone who has high honor. But how does she feel about the situation with um, Diamond Brown and Chris Brown? Or Chris Brown having a baby by Diamond Brown? I don't know how she feel about that. I may do a part two on this, y'all. If you want a part two... Put it in the comment section below. There's a message of concern coming in. What is this message? From an official person. That could be from the courts regarding child support reduction, I just heard. Intuitively, I heard child support reduction. This is the message of concern coming from an official person. This is someone from the courts. Ayana, yeah. Mm-hmm. She holds herself in high regard. No one else does, but she it's family secret. Because maybe this was a secret at one point in time, and the secret got out. That Diamond's pregnant. Yeah, the secret is that there's a main female. Or a secret about a main female. Let's look. Ooh, it popped right out. Occupation, wealthy man. So, we got occupation, wealthy man, and bad health reversed. So, Chris Brown was sick. He's recovering. Or if this is not Chris Brown, this is somebody around me, a guy's man. Because uh, we have wealthy man reversed. Occupation. Someone might have got sick on the job. Bad health. They're recovering, though. This person is someone very selfish, though. This wealthy man don't like to share. <laughs> really? How does she feel, though? How does Nia doesn't feel? Hey, I know. <laughs> Family, friends, whatever. She she knows A by now. Like wow. It's like everybody, because if you look at the number 39, add it together, it breaks down into number three. The community knows about the third party, which is Diamond Brown. Everybody know. How does Mia doesn't feel about Chris and Diamond Brown? Baby, though. Everybody also knows he could have got a sickness from the third party. Because we got bad health again, reverse. Everybody know. Oh. Maybe the third party was sick. I don't know. We got wealthy man at the bottom of the deck again with the occupation and the message. There's a message coming to this individual. What's this message? Concerning someone's reaching out to a wealthy man at his place of business or work. Talking about a marriage. So either someone wants to know about a marriage. Someone's asking to get married. Or someone's asking this wealthy man, when you gonna marry me? Like that. I don't see that marriage going anywhere. But she definitely feels like she's lost a great fortune here. As far as, you know, hearing the news that that baby is here now. 
Toil and labor and great fortune reversed. Someone, whatever they, whatever they working hard at, it didn't work because that great fortune is gone. We got daughter in the reverse. Let's see. What is this? Yes, there's a message coming in. What is this message though? Concerning a daughter? What the fuck? We have imprisonment reversed. And we have daughter reversed. So she feels as if I can't say that he's not thinking about the firstborn. But I see someone is releasing some sort of mental entrapment when it comes to a child. They're not thinking about someone's daughter anymore. We got bad health reversed and daughter reversed again. Child, child, sorry, child reversed. Bad health reversed. Some somebody's child here is sick or is recovering some from some sort of sickness as well. Pathway and bad health again. What is going on? Hold on. Nia Guzman. Current energy surrounding Nia Guzman. Hearing the news regarding Chris Brown and Donna Brown's baby. She knows that they're not together. Courtship reverse. How does she feel about it? How does she feel about it? She pretty much she knows they're not together. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's her and him or whether it's freaking Diamond Brown and him. I see Diamond Brown and him not being together. This courtship has ended. There's a message of concern, possibly of why it ended. Not getting to the question here. Someone feels if they marry someone, they won't be in poverty. Poverty reversed with marriage. And so there's a message of concern. Oh, oh, someone's calling someone and letting that person know to not marry this person. Because someone feels as if they get married or if they marry Chris Brown, they won't be in poverty no more. So a message of concern is coming in that this, this man should break up with this female seen as a gold digger. We got adjudication reverse. Someone is telling someone they made the bad judgment call to be around this female. Don't marry her. That was the message of concern. I was like, what's the message of concern? So she could be reaching out to him, telling him, like, don't marry Diamond Brown. Okay. She just only looking to be with you for your money. Whatever that conversation holds, you, you fit it where it applies to the situation. But someone is contacting someone and letting them know the message of concern, that they're concerned about this individual marrying someone because this person sees this someone as a come up, right? As a money bag, right? But they're only saying this because someone feels like they lost a great fortune. So Nia could be contacting Chris telling him, don't marry Diamond Brown. For whatever reason she may come up with. She may even say this person a gold digger, don't marry this person because blah, 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 right? But the only reason why Nia is making that phone call to Chris is for the simple fact that she feels she's losing a great fortune. But then you also have Diamond Brown looking at him the same way. Like, he has a bunch of gold diggers around him. I'm going to just close this out. He needs to do the research next time he even think about, like, being around um, females. Especially them light-skinned ones. Let me go, y'all. Peace.